A massive global study found that after age 50, low bone density becomes one of the biggest drivers of fractures, and those fractures are a leading cause of disability and mobility loss in older adults. But here's what most people don't know. Your bones are living tissues that can actually rebuild and strengthen even as you age. With the right approach, you can reverse bone density loss and reclaim your confidence. In this video, I'll reveal a simple 5-step process backed by science, plus I'll share two proven exercises I give my own patients to build stronger bones. Step number one, lifting weights. Back in the 1890s, a German anatomist named Julius Wolf made a discovery that changed how we understand bones. He found that bones actually adapt to the forces placed on them, a principle now known as Wolf's Law. Simply put, your bones are living tissues constantly listening to how you use them. Apply stress on them through movement and they grow stronger, but remove that stress and they weaken. Think of it like a tree in the wind. The more the wind bends it, the stronger and deeper its roots need to grow to stay anchored. And modern research proves this beyond doubt. Multiple large-scale studies confirm that weight training is one of the most effective ways to stimulate bone growth, with measurable improvements in as little as 12 weeks. One landmark trial followed older adults lifting weights three times per week for a year, and the results were striking. The training group gained 1-3% to in bone density, while the control group who didn't lift lost 1% in the same time period. That's a 3-4% to difference in just 12 months. Imagine what consistent weight training could do over several years. Now I'll show you two simple exercises at the end of the video, but if you want a full step-by-step -step plan on weight training, I've created a free guide called 10 Essential Exercises to Build Incredible Strength After 50. Just click the link in the description to get your free copy. Moving on to step number two to boost bone density, and that is impact training. While weight training builds resistance, impact training delivers a different signal. It tells your bones to prepare for sudden loads and build density faster. And astronauts are the perfect example of this. In space, without gravity, their bones stop receiving impact and they lose density rapidly. To counteract this and fight bone loss, they train up to two hours every day on specialized equipment. But here on Earth, gravity works in our favor. Simple moves like light jumps, heel drops, or small hops if your joints allow send a powerful message to your bones, and research proves this. In the famous Lift More trial from Australia, 101 adults over 65 combined high intensity resistance and impact training twice a week for 8 months, and the results were remarkable. The exercise group gained 2.9% in spine bone density, while the control group which didn't do any exercise lost 1.2%. Now an important note, if you have osteopenia which is early bone loss, or osteoporosis which is severe Severe bone density loss, check with your doctor and your health team before adding high intensity exercises or impact training. Okay, so far we've covered weight training and impact training, but there's one form of exercise that's even easier to do. Step number three is walking, but with a twist. While walking alone won't dramatically increase bone density, it's excellent for maintaining what you already have. And when combined with strength training from step number one, research shows it becomes a powerful tool to prevent both bone and muscle loss. One one key study found that older adults who walked for more than 5 days per week, about 30 minutes, plus did resistance training just 2 days a week, significantly reduced their fragility factors. But here's how to take your ordinary walks to the next level. Every 5 minutes, add a quick impact element, a few light hops, skips, or even walking with a weighted vest. These small additions transform walking from a bone maintaining activity into a bone building one. My recommendation is to aim for about 6,000 to 10,000 steps daily or about 30 minutes of brisk walking. Step number four to build stronger bones is simple but often overlooked. Fill the nutritional gaps. After 50, bone loss speeds up. And here's why. Hormone changes like menopause and andropause dramatically reduce your body's natural bone building signals. Women lose estrogen while men lose testosterone and that alone can trigger up to a 10% drop in bone density in the years after menopause. But here's the good news, while you can't fully control hormones, there are factors you can control and nutrition is the biggest one. Think of your bones like a building project. Without the right materials, nothing gets built. And here are the essentials. Number one. 
calcium and magnesium, the bricks and cement for strong bones. Number two, vitamin D, the key that unlocks calcium absorption. Most people over 50 are actually deficient, so I would encourage you to get your levels tested. And number three, which is often overlooked, is protein. When combined with strength training, higher protein intake not only supports bone, but also builds muscle. And muscle itself is one of the strongest protectors of bone health. So here's the bottom line. Exercise provides the blueprint, but nutrition supplies the building blocks. Combine them both and you're building a body that stays strong and independent for years to come. Which brings me to step number five, an often neglected part of bone health, balance training. Think about it, one of the best ways to prevent a fracture is simply to avoid falling in the first place. And the research is crystal clear on this. A major study in 2020 found that combining functional and balanced exercises reduced the rate of falls in older adults by about 24%, which is huge. This tells us something important. Fracture risk isn't just about weak bones. It's about your whole system, balance, muscle strength, mobility and your overall frailty. And here's the good news, you don't need a gym to improve these. With just a few smart science-backed moves at home, you can start to train your bones, muscles and balance together. With that, let me show you two powerful exercises that do it all at once. Exercise number one is the single leg heel raise and drop. This move strengthens your calf muscles, challenges your balance and adds a safe dose of impact training to stimulate bone density. Here's how to do it. Stand near a sturdy chair, wall, or countertop for safety. Use light support if needed. Lift one foot off the ground and balance on the other leg. From there, raise that heel up as high as you can and hold for a few seconds. Now here's the key part, the heel drop. Gently lower your heel back down, letting it drop to the floor. This creates a small impact that sends healthy stress through your bones. You can bend your knees to absorb the shock as you start off. You can do five reps per leg, three sets at a time, about three times per week to start. Exercise number two is inspired by two powerhouse moves from the famous Lift More trial, the back squat and the jumping pull up both proven to build bone density. But here's a safe version you can start right at home. Stand behind a sturdy chair and hold on for support. Bend through your hips and knees like you're about to sit on a chair behind you, but stop just before you reach the seat. From there, push yourself back up using your legs and arms adding a gentle little jump at the top if possible. Focus on a light push from your feet, just enough to create a small impact. Repeat this for 10 to 15 times, two to three sets, three times a week. This is a fantastic stepping stone into bigger moves like full squats or higher jumps. But even at this level, you're already giving your bones and muscles the signal they need to grow stronger. So now that you know how to start rebuilding bone strength, here is something more exciting. Did you know you can build incredible full body strength right at home with just 10 moves? Click on this video here where I'll show you the only 10 exercises you really need after 50 to stay strong, independent, and active for life. I'll see you there.